Hello, hello, Ben Wallen here and welcome to my YouTube channel. <clears throat> Today we're going to talk about something completely different, something that is not related to bodybuilding. Well, a little bit because I was at a bodybuilding show, but um, I want to talk about COVID-19 and my can I say experience with it? Actually, I can't because I didn't have COVID-19. Let's put it this way. Uh, let's talk about living in times of COVID-19 and what I have experienced during this time. And another thing, I want to talk about the uh, US election. For a certain reason, I will tell you soon. Uh, I am absolutely not into politics. I never give a shit about politics. And it's not so much about politics. It's more about my friends and family in the United States. Okay, so, but let's begin uh, with COVID-19. You know, at these times, everybody has to wear a freaking mask, the social distancing, the this, the that, you know, ah, uh, all these crazy things we have to do because the COVID-19 is so contagious. Ah, uh, well, what can I tell you? Uh, three weeks ago, I went with my wife to the uh, nationals and we were confined in a room with a thousand people with hardly any air in it, meaning all the doors were closed, you could hardly breathe, then the tanning stuff, the pro tan and stuff, which really makes it hard to breathe anyway. We were standing shoulders and shoulders with everyone, probably 500 athletes, several hundred in the audience, and like I said, confined in a very, very small room, breathing on each other high-fiving each other, I was shaking everybody's hands, sweating on each other. I mean, the worst we are supposed to do in these COVID-19 times, we did. And I said to my wife, you know what? Let's see, you know, if we get it, we get it. It is what it is. So, but now you have to imagine, of course, we were not wearing a mask. And in the beginning, like maybe half of the people wearing a mask, but a couple hours in, like I said, you couldn't even breathe. Uh, so everybody would rip their mask off so they didn't pass out. And you have to imagine, like for example, there were at least a thousand people, okay? So now, this incubation time of COVID is supposed to be two weeks or whatever. So you can say all these thousand people came in contact with 50 other people in the last two weeks. I mean, I know for sure I do it, did it because you go to the gym, the supermarket, whatever, you know? And so we're talking about not thousand people, we're talking about 50,000 people, right? Because from the thousand people, they came in contact with 50 other people. So we're talking about the contact of 50,000 people in this small room, breathing on each other, everybody's touching everybody, no washing hands, and I'm stating facts. I'm not saying COVID-19 is not real, okay? COVID-19 is real, but what is not real can only be two things. One of the two things is not real when it comes to COVID-19. One of them is the numbers. If you have so many people infected with COVID-19, we for sure would have one in the 50,000 people we came in contact with would have had COVID-19, especially since the numbers are so high in Mexico. So what are the odds that from 50,000 people, nobody had it? Point number one. Or it's just not that contagious. Maybe some people had it, but it's just not that contagious. Somebody, somewhere is lying. 
either they're lying about the numbers or they're lying about how contagious it is. One of the two is a lie. That's for sure. Nobody gets sick. Uh, like I said, this is a fact. This is what my wife and I experienced. Somebody is lying. I'm not saying COVID-19 is not real, but I'm saying the numbers are blown up, they're not real, or it's not just not that contagious. I don't get, for example, how a Chris Cuomo, or Chris Cuomo, whatever his name is, get a bad case of COVID-19, but his wife and his children got nothing. So, and like I said, there's a two week incubation time. So that means for two weeks, he hugged his children, he kissed his children, he kissed his wife, and they didn't get it. It's not that contagious. Okay? So don't be so crazy about it. Or, like I said, the numbers are blown up. It's one of the two. I don't know. This is my experience. This is my take on COVID-19. I hope they don't not delete this video from YouTube. They love to do it. Uh, certain things you state about COVID-19 and this is the truth this is what I experienced in my wife that's a fact you can change it uh, you can take this video down from YouTube but it doesn't change the fact that something is not right okay so now let's talk about the upcoming US election okay and the real worries I have about this US election here it comes I have really, really close friends living in the U.S. I don't live in the U.S., so it doesn't affect me at all, okay? But I have family in the U.S., people I used to live with, people who are my best friends. I have about 10 of these people living in the U.S., okay? And I'm worried. I'm literally worried about these people, and I'll tell you why. If Donald Trump gets re-elected, Yes, that's coming four more years of bullshit, but nothing bad is going to happen, okay? Just the usual Donald Trump bullshit. But if he loses, and be honest, there is a very, very, very big chance that he will lose this election, that what makes me worried. Because he knows he's going to prison. There are so many cases lined up, criminal cases lined up against him, that the moment he leaves this presidency, the handcuffs come on and whoop de whoop, he's gonna get arrested. Okay? That's a fact. And he knows that. So he prepared already the people for the eventuality that he loses with telling them voter mail-in voting is a fraud okay here's a fact fact you can't change facts people mail-in voter fraud does not exist never has been i'm not saying never will but so far never has been existed it's a myth it's a no-no. It's real. It's approved. No bullshit. There is no fraud. If he loses by a small margin, he will take that case to his, and I'm saying especially his Supreme Court, since he pushed the last two judges really hard, you know, Kavanaugh and this religious fanatic lady in there okay so he has the upper hand on his supreme court that was his thinking anyway so he's thinking that when he loses by a small margin he's gonna bring the case to the supreme court and they might overturn it for him and say yeah yeah yeah, yeah. uh mail in it's probably fraud la 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 that kind of bullshit okay if he loses by a big margin which the probability is there okay then i don't know if he even bothers to go to the supreme court 
but I know for sure if he goes to the Supreme Court or if he loses in the Supreme Court he will try to start a civil war and now you can say oh man you're completely crazy he will try to start a civil war within the US and that's why I'm concerned about my family and friends over there he will do anything and everything not to go to prison okay he needs to hold on to this presidency and he will mobilize all his fucked up KKK and all his groups they shouldn't exist and all his Trump fans and he's gonna tell them whatever bullshit he needs to tell them to start a civil war and that's what I'm saying is my biggest concern if nobody's falling for it great he will flee the country fine with me get the fuck out good you flee to your best buddy Putin or wherever you need to flee to because you are not that kind of person that will ever go to prison you know you had your bones first so you couldn't avoid to go to the military you're not that person because you're a coward that's a whole different thing besides the point but he will kick and scream scream Sodom and Gomorrah all fraud fake news and he's trying everything to hold on to his presidency okay so this is my real concern this civil war now you can all say man you're crazy I'm not crazy I believe that okay and that's my words okay I don't want anybody to get hurt not over this bullshit okay so that's my take on COVID-19 and the uh, upcoming US election okay like I said it does not affect me in any way who is the president of the United States I don't give a shit uh, I just give a shit about the people that live over there okay the people I love okay Hannes, Rachel, Astrid, Romani, Yodi, Mike, Greg, Heidi, my people okay all right until next time and no more political bullshit you will hear ever out of my mouth that's it it's a one and done and no more and never again all right because i hate fucking politics okay good let's hope this covid 19 bullshit is going flying over soon uh i'm really fed up with it i can't train with a fucking mask okay when i have a mask it's hanging right here under my chin because I need to breathe who can make squats with a mask I can't for sure all right so stay healthy out there my friends I see you soon again in one of my videos only related to bodybuilding and fitness until then Ben Wellen says out <laughs>